Namaste and welcome to Dr. Shah's clinic. My name is Dr. Shah and I'm a consultant andrologist and sexologist in Chennai. In this awesome video, I'm going to tell you everything under the sun about small penis size syndrome. Now, a large number of patients who visit my clinic come with a very, very common and frequent complaint about their penis size. Some of the patients who come to my clinic complain that, Doctor, my penis has actually shrunken over the years and the size of the organ has reduced. Some other patients come with a complaint, uh, complain or worry that their penis size may be very, very small and, they, and that they don't have the confidence to actually enter into a relationship or they ultimately end up postponing their marriage. So these patients are said to belong to a particular condition called small penis size syndrome. Now what is small penis size syndrome? Now, patients who complain of their size becoming small or their penis becoming smaller over the years or people who have doubts about their penis size are said to have some degree of small penis size syndrome. Now, a true micropenis is when the average penile size is less than 2 to 3 standard deviation uh, as compared to the normal uh, penis size estimate for a particular population or geography. So in, our, so, in the Southeast Asian population, the normal penis size for a healthy male should be in the range of 6 cm in the lower end of the scale anywhere up to 11 to 12 or 13 cm in the higher end of the scale. So a median average penis size of 7 to 8 cm is considered to be healthy. And what's also very important to understand is that it's wrong to actually compare your penis size with other, other men. And what's even more wrong is to compare your penis size with, with the men that you see in a particular pornographic material or an explicit sexual material. Now a large number of patients develop small penis size syndrome when they start comparing their organ size with that of other men. And this happens, you know, in shared uh, toilets, where in shared toilets in, in the, with the usage of common restrooms, in the restrooms where there are partitions and slabs. It happens while watching pornographic material because the, the person who is playing out the role in the pornographic material may be a European, may be a person from the US, could be an African person, could be, uh, could be, a, could be any person from any other particular geography. And what happens is, men usually when they watch such material, they tend to make comparisons between their penis size and the penis size that, and the penis of that individual person in the pornographic content. And a complex develops. And so they start worrying about their penis size and they are doubtful on whether they can actually satisfy their partner. What's very important to understand is that depending on the geography of the individual, the penis size can be widely variable. Now in our clinic, we did a study of, or study of penis size estimates for over 3,000 men in the south, from the South Indian population and found that the median average penis size is anywhere from about 7 cm all the way to 8 cm. Now what do we do and how do we treat uh, patients who have this particular syndrome of small penis? We, our treatments are very very simple and straightforward. First, we estimate the penis size and we estimate the penis girth with this particular device. Well, it's not a device, it's a paper but as you can see, as the organ will pass through this, Depending on the size, it will pass through one of these three holes and a measurement is taken. So this is how we estimate girth. We use this to estimate the girth. For most Indian men, this the 29 mm or the 25 mm is where the average girth of the penis falls. The average length of the penis is estimated with a simple scale. So that's about that's some, anywhere from about 7 cm to 8 cm or maybe 9 cm. And then we reassure the patient and give psychosexual counseling to the patients. Now, are there medications to improve penis size? Sadly, no, but there are a lot of bogus drugs in the market that claim drastic improvements in penis size. I would strongly advise you to refrain from taking such medications because there are no medications that are conclusively proven to improve penis size significantly in the long run. Should you do surgery to improve your penis size? Again, I would strongly recommend against that because any surgery done on, on the organ, there's a high risk of erectile dysfunction developing in the long run. Is penis length really important for sexual intercourse? Yes, it's important, but to a certain extent. If you have a penis size that's more than 5 cm or 6 cm, you can consider yourself as fit for a healthy sexual relationship. What matters is the quality of the erection, the rigidity of the erection, and how long you actually last in bed. And of course, there are numerous other partner variables that we should take into consideration. So if you're worried about your penis size, and if you're seriously, seriously worried, and if this is you know, actually stopping you from taking a plunge into a new relationship, I implore you not to worry. Always remember, or do you can do a self-check at home. You can take a simple scale, keep it at the base of your organ, measure it to the tip, and then take an estimate. Or you can visit your nearest andrologist or sexologist in your vicinity and get an estimation or and a reassurance. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video on small penis size syndrome. I'll make many more such videos for you into the future. Do subscribe, do like, do comment, and do share this video with all your friends and well, not your loved ones, but at least all your friends 
who have issues with appendicitis. So this is Dr. Shah, consultant neurologist and sexologist, signing off for now.